Hey guys, my name is Danny Glover and today we're going to be making one of the most famous tigers of all time, Dumbo. I'm not gonna lie, this cake is pretty awesome, so let's get started. Now this video is in collaboration with Pop Sugar. I created a Simba cake for my channel and I also created a Nala cake for theirs. So make sure you go check out my Nala cake as well. Now let's get to the cake. So first we're starting off with Simba's face and I'm just using a six inch round cake. I was kind of debating on whether or not I would just create the whole face out of fondant because I wanted to make the leafy feather main. I don't know if they're feathers or leaves. They look like a combination of both. I wasn't sure there was enough cake content to create the face, but there was. If you're enjoying watching me make this awesome cake, make sure you hit the like button. Helps me out a lot. It really does. Thank you guys. Did you do it? You're so sweet. I love you. I wanted his snout to come out farther than the rest of his face. So that's why the third layer of cake is actually a lot smaller. I gave this a crumb coat and I realized that I wanted his eyes to be a lot more sunken in. This is kind of a 3D cake, not really, kind of, because I wanted some depth. Now after I finished carving and crumb coating this baby, I placed it into the fridge and I started to watch some Netflix. I was watching this show called Trinket. I watched four episodes. It's about these girls who realize that they're all kleptomaniacs and they steal from Hollister of all places? I don't think I've ever even been to Hollister, but apparently it's super easy to steal stuff. I wouldn't know. I don't do that. Have you done it? Don't do it. I like the show. I love the main characters. They're very expressive. They're good actors. And I love that. I think her name's Brianna from Deadpool and Deadpool 2. She's one of the main characters. She's killing it. Now let's get back to this cake. Now after my cake set up in the fridge, I wasn't sure that the nose was gonna stay the shape of the nose with cake. So I decided to create it with fondant. Now this video is brought to you by Dreamline Fondant. Satin Ice sent me a whole bunch of fondant for free. You know how expensive fondant is you guys? You know how expensive good quality fondant is? And I got it for free. I was so ecstatic when it happened. One thing I was really proud of was the fact that I was able to add fur texture to this cake just by adding pieces and blending it into the existing fondant. You can't really see any of the seams to the fondant I added to the sides. So all of these colors I rolled out with yellow fondant and then I just added a little bit of orange food coloring to get the Simba orange because it's not completely yellow. Whenever I'm creating an iconic character, I always make sure that I get the color palette just right. And before I learned how to match colors, I threw away a lot of fondant, you guys. I made a lot of mistakes in my life, you guys, and coloring fondant is one of the biggest ones. I wanted his eyes to have like a circular shape, so I'm adding little balls of fondant so that when I add the eye fondant, it actually makes sort of like a half dome shape. This was probably the most tedious part. After I finished the eyes, I had to create like the mascara look. He's got black that highlights his eyes as well as like his eyebrows and stuff. So I had to roll out like very thin pieces of fondant making sure that they were all the same. And then I put it on very carefully. That's probably one of the most frustrating things because you want to move fast, but you also want to make sure that this looks perfect because if it's just like a little bit too thick, it's very noticeable on camera. I'm adding some catch lights and there is a little bit of blue in Simba's eyes and I decided to paint that on with some blue and white food coloring. So his face is done, we're gonna get to the mane, the leaf and uh, feather mane. Is it leaves? It is probably just leaves. So let me just rerun the music video of I Can't Wait To Be King In My Head. And it's leaves. <laughs> now to create the leaf mane, I'm using a 10 inch round cake and I'm actually just carving it out to create sort of like a half dome cake. I kind of want the cake to be like this so that the leaves can just rest on the cake board. Because if it's just flat on the cake, then you'll be able to tell because of the way that the light hits it. Once my cake was ready, I started to panel a million tons of free fondant. What kind of fondant? Dreamline. 
I wanted to add a lot of depth with the color of this cake, so I'm adding variations of red. You know, I mixed in a little bit of brown, I mixed in a little bit of black just to get some crimson so that it looked spectacular. Got like 75 layers of fondant, and then it was time to add Simba's face to the middle. What? Oh gosh, that looks cool. I'm gonna add two kitty cat ears. And last but not least, some whiskers. And voila, my Simba cake was complete. It's really scary to create iconic characters because if the features are off just a little bit, it'll look like Mufasa's brother's son. That's not Simba, that's Simba's cousin. Simbo. I love the orange yellow color of his fur. I love the way his eyes shine and that very cheeky expression that's highlighted by those bomb black eyebrows. I'm curious, are you excited about the live action Lion King movie and how do you feel about this extremely realistic representation of Simba? I wonder how it's going to translate because real lions don't have that much expression in their face. Thank you Stan Ice for providing me with the fondant. Now make sure you head over to Pop Sugar Foods to check out the Nala cake I created for them. She's beautiful. She's just as beautiful as this Simba cake. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.